So right now it's uh, 12.3.1 and I haven't installed this one until I figure out how to get my DW 1820A to work. So now it's working with both Clover 5146 and Open Core 0 0.8, I think, is the newest one. So, I like to use the Clover more than the Open Core because it's very easy to use and everything works perfectly with dual booting to the Windows because it's a dual boot. So, I have Win 10 and also Monterey. So it's very simple after to figure it out. The DW 1820A, what you need to do for the Clover is that you create an airport Broadcom fix up 1820, that's what I call it. Actually, it's exactly the same as the airport, the airport BRCM fix up. The only thing different is that inside here for the Clover, the plug in you remove the airport. BRCM 4360. Okay? So Clover, you cannot choose which one to boot. So that's the problem. So in Open Core, in the kernel, you have the airport BCM fix up, right? And then you also have. You can choose the plug in, but the Clover you can't, so you just remove it. Now, with Clover, you need to set, you need to add the device property for the Wi Fi card, which you can find using the tools and find the copy the device path and when you put the device path the 43A0 PCI ASPM default 0 and you have to put the built in with data 0, 01 for it to to be built in if you don't have the Ethernet okay so the IO built in right here so you need this for the iMessage to work. Without that, you can't even log in to your you cannot log in to your iCloud. Okay? So when you get this thing done, then the boot, you have to put the flag of Broadcom fixed driver equal to three. If not, it's not going to work for the Clover. All right. So all you need is these two things for it to work. That is a Wi-Fi. So now for the Bluetooth, they are both the same. You use Blue Tool Fix Up. It's different from Bixer. The Big Sur, you use uh, Broadcom Bluetooth Injector, but on the Monterey, you have to use Bluetooth Fix Up. The firmware and the patch RAM 3. So make sure you get the latest version, which is 2.61. And the airport fix up, it doesn't matter. I used 2.1.3, I modified it. Okay. So this is for the clover. So you need this, you need this, you need this, 
and you need this for both Wi-Fi and Bluetooth to work. On the open core, you need these two. You need to turn them on, enable in the kernel. And also, for the Bluetooth, you have Bluetooth fix up. Have to go first, and then firmware, and then RAM 3 kex. So you need those on the open core. You can go to uh, the website. Uh, I will show more in detail, and uh, I will put a config file so you can look at it for both Clover 5146 and open core 0 0.8 right so go to the uh, information and I'm gonna put it on the uh, the website address the Monterey now is working very well and I really like it the HP elite book and this one is uh, Skylark i7 6600U all right, so this is a Wi-Fi. I'm connecting at uh, 5G, and is the Bluetooth. So first, we check and see the Bluetooth. So on the Bluetooth, it doesn't show it show a handoff support, but it's connected. Now the only way handoff support works is it the Wi-Fi is working and airdrop so the handoff support the airdrop works alright the next one is the Wi-Fi so we're going to test the Wi-Fi with the speed test so the T-Mobile the 5G gateway normally the upload is really high Okay, so let's change this one to the Orbi extender. We use the Orbi extender because T-Mobile, they don't have it. So let's try it. So the Orbi is a lot better. So I'm using the T-Mobile gateway, 5G. And we use the Orbi as the extender. And the Orbi has two pieces, one is downstairs, one upstairs, so the download is a lot better. Okay, Monterey 12.3.1. Okay, so this one is from the KB Lake uh, i7 7500U. Now we need to make sure that the Wi Fi is built in in order for to log into iCloud and also to get iMessage to work. So we're going to have to set it up correctly. 